What's up guys welcome back to another episode of City Skylines 2020 City as you can see I did some work with the transport hub off camera between episode recordings uh, and some work with the dam also so we'll get into the probably today we'll be changing some traffic didn't want some know the traffic that you saw last episode Okay guys, so let's get into it. Right, um So yeah we did some changes as you can see here. We, well you guys saw this change last episode. We changed the bridges for the metros. Between last episode and this episode we added a walkway across from this side of the city across the river to the other side and also we connected it to the complex I did up upgrade the walkways across there because there was like too much of people using one walkway and it was really crazy so I put the walkway on both sides and connected them so now we have the complex walkway where everyone's connected to also the other side of the city the other thing I did between episodes was probably see two tram bridges going across this one and then we have this tram bridge here that's going across feeding two lines up on this side instead of having all the trams backed up on one <coughs> section of line so all these bridges here are mainly transport connections to the city Last episode we also did some changes and some upgrades with the um, university. Probably see some a bit of a difference from how it looked last episode. Same with the a different look on the um, farming district. <laughs> what went on is my game crashed before I could save it, so I had to reboot and redo the whole episode off camera and try to make it as close as possible to how it was before so this is the changes we have here uh, this episode will be focusing on adding an oil industry area I'm probably gonna fill this area with farming industry regular industries See if that helps with the demand for goods. I remember we had a bakery there. Did some editing down on this side. I made it a bit smoother. And added the crossways here so the passengers from the um, cargo sh cruise ships can. Um, crossroads safely on and hop into the metros we had a few um, cargo ships come in last episode this episode will be mainly focusing on this area there's a huge oil deposit in this area here so we will be mainly focusing on this old area here making the oil industry so let's start up the episode by doing that. Let's go. Start up with something like... At least I don't have to worry about money because we have <laughs> over 3 million.
That's a basic layout for the oil district. We also said this episode we was going to add metros to the side of the city, right by the zoo and to the um, area to the university area. So we'll focus on that right after we finished the oil district. Let's see where this highway is running. I should have a two-way highway right on it. Yeah. Yep, there it is. Alright, we also need to do one more thing that I kind of forgot to do in the city and it might be the cause of most of the traffic in the city. Just put some road maintenance buildings. <laughs> Maintenance up there. Up there. Let's see if I can put one right here. That should deal with all the road maintenance we need. For now. Let's check the yeah, the conditions of our road are terrible. It took those guys a while to boost the road connections. And let's connect this guy up to the power source, water source. Right, let's get head back to working on the oil district. Well, obviously you know that I use the um, mod and then ground resources because we had no oil on the map, so I had to add that in. And the power source is obviously going to be an oil generator, oil power plant, because why not? And it will have endless oil because it's in the oil district. 
Water on the other hand will be connected to the regular water line. Let's go into industries. Should have some warehouses unlocked. It's not too steep. one up here for the oil Also, we need to um, add some more pumps. And that should level us up very fast. I know they still have the district because last time I tried to overlay districts. Alright, they still have it that you can overlay them. So, I'm gonna add a regular industry area. Oil industry area. Because they do interact. And we have some demand for industries. Right, we may need to add some more roads. They got better zoning down here for the industrial oil industrial area. Some 
crazy zone and there. Industrial stuff building up down here. It's out of oil. You're in an oil area. How the frick can you be out of oil? Ridiculous. Really ridiculous. There's some oil industries building up here. And there we go. The oil industry leveled up. Let's add some more pumps. Bigger pumps. This should give us a bit of Cash. Now we have some pumps working, some other pumps going up, that's not in the oil industry area, that's part of the default oil district, these guys here, but they do interact with each other so that's a nice thing to know. Some of them are just going right here, so the traffic doesn't really bother me. So all of them are really going to. And then the rest, once that's full, it's gonna fill up this one. Once that's full, it's gonna fill up this one. So our demand for industries should be down, commercial is a bit up, and we have a bit of demand for residential also. What we need to do is do some transport down here. Cargo train. Right about there and connect it to the train line which we have there. Right, wrong thing. 
Right, so now the train line should be connected to the rest of trains. And that should be broken. In regards to goods, we should have some goods now from this industrial area. We have, to, in fact, to add some metros up there. I have a metro line running straight through from this thing. So what I can do actually is be some more metro stations. That across there. Connect them to the line. Are not connecting. Right. Damn, seriously. industry is just ranked up a bit again. It doesn't really matter how I connect these guys up. I'm still connected. So what I'm going to do now is... This metro from running. True, true. You know what, I can leave that metro line there and add a new line to that. At that particular stop, because metro stops can have more than one line. Let's see. 
Okay, let's delete that line. <laughs> we have to do that line over. Uh, metros. Fresh metros. Delete that line. Let's start a new line. This one. And back now. What I can do, I think I can do this here. This. Uh, no, no, no. Should see some metros coming out of the metro depot right now. Yep, there goes one. And now to the new line. So we have this industrial area connected. And these guys just depend decided to be quite out there. There's no power. power grids together. So we're gonna draw a line from there, connecting it to this grid here. Connecting this grid to that grid. So now the industrial demand is settled. We have a bit of demand for residential and some for commercial and uh, I hate when this glitch happens. to shift this metro station across a bit. the ground here. Connection. The 
road. Okay, let's see. We have to go back into um It should fix itself hopefully. Yeah, just it. Right. So we have everything connected. Clearly see that this is working. Because I just saw some uh trucks come out. This is clearly working. It's looking a bit weird, but I can actually use the one and two to make that little look a little bit nicer. We are now where we're still recognized. Six academic works. We have a no passengers on that line yet. Hopefully we get some check up on the Oh just remembered I can actually do that. We actually have four on that line. It's line eight. Yeah, some people are looking to go to work down there. We did in fact get some level ups on the industrial area down here. So that's added new buildings. Some new storage areas. But there and there. This too. And a group of drills now. Always need some I've gotten something else. I think that's the ball. Wait a minute. I don't know we should have gotten that. Workers barracks. Ah, uh, you guys, I just remembered something here. Let's do it quick to wrap up the episode. Uh, I don't know if I ever added this into the city. Postal? I think I did. No, I didn't. No wonder. <laughs> Alright, let's add that into the 
be a good area for it to be. So I have some certain station, some post offices there. There, one down there, one there, Let's make our residents happy. And some post offices. Now we are should I should help out in making the citizens happy because now they can receive their mail. <laughs> That's one thing I forgot to add it add to the city was post office. I forgot that they actually integrated that within. So the post office figures and post are now running. Before we wrap up today's episode, we have one major thing that we <laughs> did not actually get in. But we can see if we can squeeze in, extend the episode time a bit and squeeze in the metro systems that I said I was going to add up here. Metros can no, it's annoying. So instead of having two separate metros, I can in fact have it all connected to one. Central line. Oh, that's a valuable building. Oh, so too steep, so too steep. Oh, shit. Come on! Oh, just got a green. Where is that? There it is. Well, let's connect those things. See how we're gonna squeeze this in. Probably have to go lower. Pass under. Oh wait, no, that section is too hard. Right. 
right, it's connected. We have one more line to connect, that's the loop. And now we just create the metro line for that area. Station is finally becoming active. Go to this one. There, back to there, there, and all the way back to the metro hub, transport hub, same thing. Here comes our metros. Right, let's. I just realized this guy has no power. Oh my god, I still have the sniffles. Alright, guys, so this episode was a very successful episode. We still need to add some demand and deal with the demand for commercial and residential, which we would do next episode, hopefully. Alright, oh, yeah, there we go it's up again as you can see by that the oil industry is really really working it's really going good so the city is kind of getting we're finally getting back the type of income we was getting before with the oil industry um, as you can see the trains are working nice custom oil train there heading off with some oil it's, it's heading up I don't know where it's gonna come out it's gonna come out by the doubt it's gonna come out by the farming area nope <laughs> so if it's not coming out there it's gonna come out quite up here into the industrial area. Any time today. Some time today. Any moment. All right. Where is it? <laughs> there it is. Oh no, that's another train. God damn it. Oh well. Anyway guys, so as you see we added this area this episode. We next episode we'll be seeing about the adding some more residents and some more commercial. Industrial slash offices is actually settled out for now as I have a huge industrial area down here haven't seen much in regards to this station taking in any um trains but we'll leave it there just for the looks next episode we'll be working on this industrial area adding some more stuff what star is the industrial area? it's already a four star and we just put it down here oh my lord so next episode we we'll probably get it to a five star anyway guys thank you for tuning into this episode of city skylines 2020 city hope you guys enjoyed see you guys in the next one ash Wars is out peace